Good morning, everybody. It's Monday morning. I thought what I'd do this Monday is is um, tell you about this my strategy moving forward, how I'm going to play um, the economic climate right now. Because as you guys hopefully know, I am stupidly ambitious. I don't like standing still. I hate it. In fact, I need to be moving forward, and that's not good when we've got a recession. Because I want to gamble and go forward and. Um, and so how do I do it? So I thought it'd be good to document this. So in years to come, I can say, right, in 2022, this is what I did, even though the economy was rubbish. So I've got three strategies for my self-storage facility moving forward. Forget any other business at the minute. We're just talking self-storage, right? So strategy number one is that I am I am building in Mansfield um, from the ground up. So ground up means um, it's an empty place and we're, we're building from... We're, we're basically kicking it all out in self-storage and opening a new facility self-storage-wise. So we're doing that one. Um, that is the most risky strategy. Because it's three strategies, that's the most risky. And so what we're doing now is um, we're, we're going to do one of those, one of them developments, because it's going to cost about 800 grand in development to get it up and running to a fully-fledged store. Don't get me wrong, long-term, this is the best strategy but short term, because of the economic climate, we don't know how long it's going to take to fill. It is going to cost a little bit of money to develop and also the running costs as well. Because when you open a self-storage facility, you've got all these all these expenses and you've got no revenue coming in. And your revenue slowly, 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 slowly starts coming in. And eventually, after maybe three or four years, your revenue exceeds your costs. And therefore, you're in a cash flow positive surplus position. Um, that is number one. That's dangerous. I've already committed to that. It is dangerous. It's giving me sleepless nights, but I know the area. I know the competition. I know the location, and we're going to crush it there. Absolutely crush it. Long term, we'll crush it. Short term, it could be painful in terms of cash flow. Right. Number two is buy self storage. Buy self storage off people, buy a company off somebody. So, what I've done is I paid £10,000. I've only this guy's mastermind. I paid 18 grand, I think it is, to be in this guy's mastermind. I personally got in touch with him and said, listen, I don't learn very good in a classroom situation. Anybody who was with me at school knows I'm shit at school. I, I days off. Da, 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 I can't concentrate like that. So I said, how much would it cost to have in um, one, sorry, sorry, to have an hour lesson, an hour call from you every other week? How much would it be? And he came back and said, 10 grand. I was like, done. And so I paid him 10 grand. And he's the best in the UK at buying businesses. So he's going to buy, he's going to help me buy businesses and how to structure the debt, how to structure the loan. And he could introduce me to other people. Best 10 grand that probably ever spent. So we're doing that. And the reason I'm doing that is that I'll buy a self-storage facility, maybe making £100,000 to maybe £400,000. And what we'll do is we'll structure that £400,000 over a number of years. So the actual business will pay itself. And hopefully it'll be no money in for myself. This is what like, this guy coaches. Um, but say if he's making hundred grand. I will only buy a self-storage facility where I know it's being run poorly and I know I can make it run better. So they might be doing no revenue management. They might be doing no insurance. They might not be doing price increases. The rates might be too cheap. Um, the paper clips might not be good enough. The website might not be good enough. So I can change all this. And I can. I, I would hope that I can put 50% on any self-storage facility. Uh, but actually, obviously, there's some good operators, but most operators are bad. So therefore, I can... Instead of making 100 grand a year, I can make it make 150. And so straight away, I've added 50% on, bought it for 400. It's now worth 600 grand. So I've netted 200 grand there if I choose to sell. Um, so that's that's strategy number two. That's what we're doing. And hopefully within a year, I'll have at least bought one site. Strategy number three is cont excuse me, container sites. So container sites, uh, the reason I like these is because the, it's land. So you're buying, you're, you're buying or leasing land cheap. So the one I'm looking at today is £20,000. Um, we're going to have nine months rent free. And it's maybe 10 grand rates, probably even less than that. And nothing else. There's a little bit of electric for the gate, but that's it. Everything else is solar panels. So there's nothing there. So say the running cost of 35 grand per year. We don't need a lot of containers in that facility to break even. So it cash flows really, really quickly. Um, strategy number two and strategy number three are all about cash flowing because I need cash to develop the big sites like the one that's uh, development. I can't tell you where it is because I know people from the self-storage industry listen to this podcast and we haven't signed the deal yet. So I can't tell you who it is. We've heads of terms, but we, we still, we solicitors now. Um, so with that, with a container site, the great thing is the beauty thing, beautiful thing is asset finance. We can do asset finance on these on these containers. So we can buy them. We only need to put 20% down, 10% down, depending on your relationship with the asset finance company. You only have to put 10% down. And therefore, it makes a huge difference because we can pay it over a number of a number of years, four or five years, and it cash flows straight away. I'll give you an example. Clough Road bought 10 containers. The repayments are £800 a month, but we're gaining 2100 in cash flow from that. So we're gaining £1,300 a month straight away, and we're paying off the asset. So 
it's a wonderful, wonderful way to cash flow. And I want these, these self-storage facilities, these outdoor external units. It's no drain on my cash and it's getting paid off already. And I'll be making like 70 grand a year average of each one of these. So the idea is that I maybe have between five and 10 in next year. And say we get five, that's 350 grand per year cash flowing or net profit. Because obviously cash flow, it's going to, you have to pay off a loan and stuff, but profit will be about 70 grand each on, on these ones. And then that allows me, it gives me that foundation, that fundamental foundation to go to the next strategy, which is build. I want to build and own the land myself and build a nice storage facility because that, my friends, is where the real money is. If I want to sell it for 200 million pound one day, then that's the aim, by the way, 200 million. I think I probably aim too low. Then I need to build self-storage sites and own the land myself. That is the only way I'm going to get there. Um, and so that is the strategy moving forward. One, two, and three. I'm excited about all of them. I'm nervous, most nervous about number one because the fill up and et cetera, the cash I need is going to be, is going to be a killer. Um, and number two and number three are, are going to be cash flowing. So hopefully number two and number three will pay for number one. And number one's also been paid for by Beverly, Willoughby and Clough Road already. Right, my friends, uh, that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm concentrating on this next week or so. Uh, I want to put an offer today and then I'm going to Portugal because we are at the conference, uh, for self-storage conference this week. So that I ain't really got a lot to do this week apart from go network. Who knows? I might be able to buy a self-storage facility in, in, Portugal. Maybe I can talk to somebody who wants to sell their self-storage facility. Right, guys, girls, love you. I appreciate you. I'm out of here.